Hey guys, welcome back to Bonsai Crazy. Now, we've got a little update for you today. Really chuffed on all these things that have been sent to me and my ficus air layering and not so much my, uh, my attempt at a bonsai. But hey ho, let's get on with it, right? So first off, ficus air layering. Fully successful, bags of roots around there. I was gonna make a complete video on this, but I've decided not to because at the end of the day, if you wanna see this done, you can just go and see Adam from Notion Bonsai. Did a fantastic video the other day. Uh, basically, we did the same thing. Um, air layered this tree, so I've got the top half. So I'm gonna do this later on today in private and I'll put it in the pot and I'll do a little um, uh, short on that and show you that one. So that's that one. Success, yay! But go and see Adam's video at Notion Bonsai if you wanna know how to take that off and put it in the pot and all the rest of it. Fantastic video. So, second tree. This was an attempt at um, uh, um, windswept. Um, tree I was hoping that all of these little branches down here would survive I did if you remember I did a really gnarly bend on it and it was really and it I loosened it up and it's just gone like that so just goes to show that large just bounce back like anything um, but most of it hasn't popped out so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it out of this pot put it on my balcony and hopefully it'll revive in the next year or two and then you know, I'll use this tree for something else. So that was a failure, I'm afraid. So I think that was Scott or one of my um, one of my uh, subscribers wanted an update on that. So I think it was his name was Scott. So Scott, there's your update on that. It didn't work, mate. Bent it too much. Half of it didn't come out. So um, and it's I was, you know. There's not much soil there, so that could also be a problem as well. So that's the two trees. One more tree. Alex from, well, not from any channel actually. Alex Broughton, everyone's favorite stalker. He has given me my first ever Continesta. What a pucker little tree that is. You see all the twists and turns on that? Really cool little tree that is. So he sent it me a couple of weeks ago and said, pot, repot it straight away if you're gonna repot it. I haven't done so, so I'm gonna leave it this year now and look at that, look at doing that next year. But Alex, it has flowers, mate, look. It's popping flowers, wicked. So thank you very much, Alex. It really is very kind of you, mate. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna look forward to doing a video on that in the future. Next up, we have Gavin from Not Another Bonsai Channel. And Gavin sent me some stickers and he also sent me some Acer Ginsum paper bark maple seeds. Now, the tree masons have all got some of these and we're all trying various ways of um, germinating them. Um, it's supposed to be petrified, uh, not petrified, uh, it's supposed to be uh, put in the fridge and all the rest of it or freezer and go through the seasons. So we're going to give that a go in the year, this year. So hopefully a few of them will pop out. So thank you very much for that, Gavin. That's, you're an absolute star. Um, and I'll find somewhere for these stickers, even if, if it's on my fridge. Now, last and not least, I've been waiting for this for about two or three weeks now. Jonas from Bonsai Cornwall. Yay, Jonas! He has sent me a package as well, and I've not opened it yet, but I've been waiting, like I say, for about two or three weeks for this. It got lost in the post, and it actually turned up down the road with my other neighbour. So I've not opened it, and he was really gutted that it didn't turn up. And I'm super excited about what's in here. 
So this is only going to be a short video for you guys. So let's not. Whoa, what's that, Jonas? So that looks like cork bark jade. Thank you very much, Jonas. That's cool. I haven't had one. I've not had one of those. Cork bark jade, wicked. It's a bit dry, actually. I felt a bit dry. Aha, wicked, Jonas, wicked. Giant sequoia seeds. He, he found a, a few cones from underneath a tree the other day. And he picked them up and he sent them out to all the tree masons. So thanks, Jonas. Hopefully they'll sprout and they'll go with my, my masterpiece. So, right. So, nothing in there. Now he sent me this and he said, basically, go crazy. And by that, I think he meant make something out of it. So let's have a look and see what he sent me. So that is a piece of petrified wood. It must be very, very old. Very old uh, piece of wood by the look of it. He did say it was a petrified piece. So I can imagine this being a, I don't know, could be a couple of thousand years old, could be a couple of million years old even, but Petrified piece of wood. That is lovely, Jonas. That's really, really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but that is kind of wicked, that is. That's cool. I'm going to enjoy playing about with this, Jonas. Thank you very much. So, yeah. So there's my updates for you guys. And uh, sorry I haven't uh, done a proper video like this for a, for a long time, but I kind of think you get a bit bored of seeing my face, even though it's pretty and all that, but you know. <laughs> um, I think you get a bit, a bit bored of it. So I like to change my videos around, as you know. Uh, hopefully you've all seen the last one, my, my latest creation. Oh, let me give you an update on that because since then I've actually bought two more things for it and it's really set off the it's really set off the the composition it's really it's done something nice to it so let me show you so hopefully you're in the right view there and you can actually see this but i've got a little white bowl for the sedum grassal so a little white bowl for that, which really goes nicely with the with the burnt wood. And we've got a little polar bear. Little poly. That's what I call him. Poly. So yeah, I think I think that just sets off the composition really quite nicely now. Um I'm a bit disappointed that I I've done I think I might take off the, the corners and round them off a bit. But other than that, I really like this piece. I think it's a. Uh, I think it might be. Might. There, there. I possibly say. Might one day go on a, on a Suzuki bench, at at a show or a competition. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, it's good enough. But um, like I say. Dirty the update, guys. So thank you very much. And as ever, please like and subscribe and follow my craziness throughout the years and stay tuned and find out what i'm going to do with this piece of petrified wood my creative juices are actually flying out the window right now because i can see quite a few things that i can do with this so please like and subscribe guys and i'll see you next time
Cheers. Ta-da.